Hello, and welcome to LU124 Membership Committee, a Lions University course brought to you by Lions USA Canada Leadership Forum. My name is Past District Governor Mike Retzloff, and I will be helping out behind the scenes uh, this evening for our webinar. We'd like to remind you that this webinar is being recorded for those that cannot attend this live session, or if you'd like to review it at a later time. You'll be able to participate in this webinar by asking questions or responding to questions by using the questions pane in the control panel or by raising your hand to be called on and be unmuted to respond verbally. Again, membership committee is course number LU124 and is an elective course for the bachelor's program that is designed to help Lions lead at the club level. The bachelor's program involves the completion of 10 required courses shown on the left and at least five elective courses shown on the right side of the screen. Uh, you can see all the courses that are currently available or scheduled by going to the appropriate program summary page on lionsuniversity.org. For each course, we also have a course page that includes additional details. This is an, an example of course LU 104 uh, effective club meetings for the bachelor's program. where you can register for the webinar or watch the webinar video after it has occurred. With our system, now you monitor your own course completions by selecting my account and then selecting the bachelor's program, uh, the master's program or the doctorate program. When you've completed a phase of the program such as required courses, the elective courses or the required experience, you can apply for credit and complete the relevant information. Once it has been verified, your profile will be updated. Let's move into our topic for today. It is my pleasure to introduce to you our newest faculty member, past district governor, Doug White, who is from multiple district four, California. Doug is, uh, from District 4C5, which centers around the Sacramento area in the northern part of California. Past District Governor uh, Lion Doug White, District 4C5, joined his home club, Nevada City Lions, 30 years ago. Lion Doug has helped several, has held all club offices, zone, and region chair several times. He was a cabinet treasurer in 2008-2009 and served as district governor in 2018 and 2019. Lion Doug is a Lions University graduate with a bachelor's and a master's degree certificate. He has attended several USA Canada forums, the Advanced Lions Leadership Institute in Houston, Texas, and the MD4 Lions Leadership in Sacramento, California. He is currently serving on the MD4 Marketing and Communication Marcom Committee. He is a progressive Melvin Jones Fellow and has received numerous other district awards. He and his family are members of his home club and all are very, very active in Lionism. Just to let you know, handouts are available on the website and the quiz will be available after the completion of the webinar. I am pleased to turn things over to past district governor, Doug White. Sorry, folks. Well, good evening, everybody. Um, welcome to uh, the Lions University uh, 
membership committee uh, the webinar. And before I get started, I just want to say that, you know, before we uh, even thought about doing this, it was before the pandemic. Things have been a little topsy-turvy ever since. And so I'm asking and pleading with people, please stay safe, uh, wear your masks, uh, avoid large crowds, and uh, enjoy life. Um, so we will get started here. So our objectives, why a membership committee? We will be reviewing the position of club membership chair, the membership recruitment, we'll identify other club membership committee members and what other recruiting tools are available. The information provided in this webinar has been taken in part from lionsclub.org slash membership chair with some editing and expanding to provide information relative to a membership committee as well as a membership chair. The position of the club membership chairperson in the membership committee is important to the health and vitality of your Lions Club and its ability to serve the community. The membership chair is a member of the global action team for your club. So good information uh, to know, uh, your membership chair and the membership committee will work together with a club service chairperson and the leadership chairperson, a role automatically filled by your club's vice president to develop and implement initiatives focused on leadership development, membership growth, and expanding humanitarian service. The lionsclub.org slash membership chair guide will help the membership chair and the committee to support members, both current and new, and to ensure that they have a meaningful, impactful, and rewarding experience as part of your club. So before I go on, if membership is what we're talking about, growing each of the clubs, and without the membership chair and a committee, you can't do it alone. It's a team effort. Uh, so uh, with that said, I'll move on to the next slide. And did you know that materials can be downloaded from the Lions Club International, Lions International website. And that site is lionsclubs.org slash membership chair or ordered by contacting the membership development at membership at lionsclubs.org. You can reach their, the phone numbers are easily accessible uh, or you can go online to the Lions website. So our goals. So we need to establish a course of action, a plan for a membership committee under the direction of a club membership chair to expand existing members numbers in individual Lions clubs, as well as orientating new and existing members, retaining members and keeping both new and existing members active in club projects. Now I mentioned the, the orientation is very important to not only new Lions uh, as they join your clubs, but you know, you got to go back to some of the people who are seasoned lions and bring them up to date. There's always new things. So uh, by all means, when an orientation uh, seminar is available to you, perhaps in your district, have some of your, your existing members sign up. Number two, determine and establish a membership committee of two or more committee members, including the membership chair. Now we've had a membership chair uh, as a position in the roster of Lions for some time, but I think it's pretty obvious that you can't do it alone. You need people to help go out and beat the bushes to get more Lions. Uh, that's what it's all about, membership growth. Uh, two or more, sure. Uh, if you can find three to go out and help you uh, develop new members uh, by uh, talking to the public, it is so much easier than relying on just the one person doing it alone. Your club board of directors should meet with potential lions that could fill the position of membership chair. And often a membership chair may be the immediate past president of your club. Not always, but it, it does happen. So why a membership committee? As I said, it's all about growth and members and the membership committee will take on the responsibility of creating membership growth 
and assist the club president and other officers in maintaining the existing membership numbers plus seek out new club members. And I say keep the membership numbers going and you can't do it without adding on members. It's, it's just pretty simple. Uh, we can't grow without adding on. If you have a club that is not growing within a two year period, that club is gonna be in trouble without adding new membership. And we do have members come and go. Without a membership committee, expansion of membership falls on the club officers and club members to attract and retain new members. Club officers are busy trying to operate and run your clubs. So that's why a separate membership committee is so important. And the membership committee can also assist in orientating new members. They can actually do the orientation themselves or they can bring in somebody from your district to uh, do the, the seminar on orientation. Uh, no matter what you do, have it at least once a year. The membership committee works with new and existing line members to engage them and to keep them active on existing and new club projects. It's so important to have every member that is active in your club participate in your club projects, uh, engage them. Uh, if you have a new member that's coming in with their own ideas, absolutely put them to work. We, we, we look forward to hearing new and exciting projects uh, from some of the new members. So by all means, welcome them and uh, encourage them to uh, suggest to your club any new projects that uh, could be out there that would exemplify we serve. The membership committee keeps in touch with club members that might be absent for long periods of time to be sure that all is well with them. Now I say that because sometimes you might go three meetings without seeing a member and then you wonder, well, is there something that we need to find out from them? Are they doing okay? Uh, not only just give them an email, but pick up the phone and uh, give them a call and say, is everything going well with them? And we miss seeing you. So uh, we encourage the membership committee to take on that role. So before you begin your responsibilities, as a membership committee members for, this, for the year, take some time to thoroughly understand your position and get organized by meeting at the outset of the year. You can even meet before your, your club year begins on July 1st. You could uh, have a little committee meeting on the side and really work out what are you gonna do for the entire year. If the membership committee and chair are new positions replacing other Lions members who served on the membership committee in the past, meet with them to determine what worked well, what didn't work well, and about the members of your club. I think it's important that the membership committee get to know your members thoroughly, uh, find out from them what they like to see happening, uh, what they might have done on their own careers outside of Lionism, and then uh, talk to them about what they might bring to your club. The membership committee should keep and use a planning calendar for the year. It's very important to keep track of not only your club events uh, from meeting to meeting, but what do you do in the rest of the year? Uh, keep a calendar handy so that uh, you can have people sign up for different projects and uh, keep track of the progress of those in planning and to the end, how it's all done towards the end of the project. The membership committee should keep in contact with the club secretary to be sure that a member's information is complete and up to date for each member of the club. Oftentimes people move and they think that they're they're letting all their friends know where they've moved to, or they might have changed phone number or email address. Who has that information accessible to all is your club secretary. And so the club secretary should work with the membership committee and uh, periodically, quarterly, half a year, or even at the beginning of the year, 
go through your roster and be sure that all phone numbers, addresses, and emails are current and correct. Responsibilities. Big responsibilities are to assist the clubs with membership growth. The membership is so important in all of our clubs to survive. And as the clubs age, you need to have some rotation of getting new members in and you can't do it without going out and looking for it. It's not easy, but it can be done. Growth is achieved through new member recruitment and membership satisfaction. And you can recruit by just simply sending out flyers to your communities. Uh, you can uh, be uh, sharing information from uh, different sources, such as uh, going to church or going to uh, town or, or county meetings. Just spread the word. You should be a watchdog to be sure that members stay and will continue to serve longer with the club. What we seem to find, and it's unfortunate, is that members that uh, are on the edge don't last more than 18 months unless you keep them busy. So that's why I say when you have a member that you're, you're uh, looking to bring into your club, be sure that you find out from them what they want to do, how they would like to serve the community, and then let them run with it. And, and be sure to uh, keep in touch with them closely. The membership committee collaborates with the club leadership chairperson the service chairperson and the club president to further initiatives on leadership development, membership growth, and expanding humanitarian service. In a nutshell, that's what we're all about. The whole, whole thing, it's we serve. So supports member retention by creating a harmonious club atmosphere and make members feel part of the family while serving the local community. And when you have your meetings, a lot of people have a habit of sitting in the same spot time after time mix it up some when you're talking to these new members move them around and find out uh, from them what their interests are and to be shared with the other members of your club and that can't be done if they're stuck in a little pigeonhole and uh, not actively uh, doing things with their club We need to motivate club members to invite new members and inspire positive club membership experiences. Some of the new members, uh, you can have them bring in as guests to a meeting uh, just to see what we're about and uh, inspire them to ask relatives, friends, coworkers to come to a meeting and then invite them to uh, attend perhaps projects before you really nail the coffin, not nail the coffin, <laughs> before you actually say, we want you as a member, will you join? Uh, get them to know your club. Responsibilities include ensuring new members are provided with an effective new mem member orientation in collaboration with the club leadership development chairperson, which is often a club vice president. Collaborate with a club service chairperson to promote membership opportunities during service projects. And they should participate in zone and district meetings and events. One of the fun things that uh, over my years as a lion has been to participate in going to all the zone meetings, any of the district meetings, uh, what we call cabinet meetings, going to the district conventions. It's amazing how many people, how many friends you make in the Lions world. And we encourage all new members and their, their uh, sponsor to go to these meetings with them. The sponsor is there to help them, uh, to mentor them, uh, and participate in all these fun projects. Some of the projects could include something like uh, at the local county fairs. Uh, many Lions Clubs hold food booths. And at those food booths, it's kind of fun to invite your friends in 
and get them used to what you're doing to serve the public. And lo and behold, maybe down the road a year or so from that point, you might have them as a member. To contact prospective member leads promptly. If you get a lead from various sources, and it can come directly from Lions International, be sure that you follow through and find out where the people, the Lion perspective is located, uh, what fits them the best, and give them a call. Welcome them. So our priorities. Develop a membership growth plan. You need to have a plan so that you can grow, of course, but be sure that in that growth plan that you have things like, as I've been uh, saying over and over, what your new lions want to do with their life as a lion. You make a list of prospects and then follow up. Some of those prospects can be lions that you had as a member two or three years ago or longer who may have left for various reasons and you might be able to work on them to bring them in as a uh, member. The membership committee can do that easily just by getting a list of their prior addresses, phone numbers, emails, and get a hold of them. Use the Just Ask recruiting guide. It's there for you. Ensure members are properly orientated. So I've said that numerous times, orientation is so important. And keep the club atmosphere positive. Have enjoyable meetings. Your membership committee can work on uh, with your uh, chair that obtains speakers and be sure that your speakers when they come in are uh, people that are contributing to the community and that they don't take too long. It's too many times when you have a, a, a guest speaker that you don't put a time limit on them. And so the membership committee can work directly with that guest speaker to be sure that the, the information that they give you is uh, to the point and then leave word for, leave room for uh, questions and answers. You can ask members to provide prospects, then repeat steps one to five. Promote the club at service events in the public. So how do you do that? You can, when you're out in the public, uh, you could take a large board and display all of your activities that you've been doing for the last year or maybe 10 years worth and really get the word out by putting a banner out there when people walk by, speak to them, welcome them, and basically do what you can to let them know that lions exist and that you've heard that old saying, we're the best kept secret in the world. It ain't happening anymore. We got to get out there and be more than our best kept secret. So promote the club at whatever levels you can. Go to zone and district meetings. As I said earlier, when you get uh, when you go to a zone meeting, you are mi mixing with people that are in other clubs, you get their ideas, you bring those ideas back to your own club, and then uh, you can share that at the club level. Encourage your new member to go to these with you uh, as perhaps you might have a president and vice president that would normally go to these meetings, they may ask you to come along, by all means, encourage the new member to do so. And you work with your club zone and region so that, again, they can share with you all the things they've been doing and basically you can steal some of their projects. It works all the time. Build a club website. Uh, Lions International does have a, a provision so that you can establish your own website through them, it's free, or you can pay a service and build a really nice club website that you can share uh, on either Facebook or other social media. Measuring success. How do we measure our success? One is you've conducted at least one, one membership drive in the community. Excuse me while I get some water. And beyond that, contact 
at least two former members about returning to the club. You never know because they may have left at a time when things were uh, either topsy-turvy for them or they were transferred to another business location or for whatever reason. Give them a call, see if they might be interested in coming back to your club. Measuring success would be increased total membership over the previous year. It's really difficult with people coming and going in our, our busy lives, but it can be done. Uh, keeping active with with uh, fun things to do during the year as well as worthwhile to your community. Measuring success is retaining 100% of members. That again is not easy because uh, there may be various reasons why you lose members. Uh, some go on to uh, other communities uh, and if, the, if that's the case, uh, encourage them to transfer into another club in the new community that they deal with. Excuse me. Here we go again, all new members participate in new member orientation. Uh, in many districts, there is a, a person that might specialize in new member orientation, encourage them to come to your club or come to a zone and attend the new member orientation at a zone level. Did you know that during July of 2017, Lions International began sending emails to new members designed to educate, inspire, and encourage engagement with Lions activities? This was designed to increase retention within this segment of your membership. Please ensure what your club is doing at the local level to help contribute to the overall success of Lions worldwide. That's why it's so important for your secretary to keep all information on their membership current with Lions International. If they don't have your current email address, you aren't going to get the uh, periodic information uh, messages that we get from Lions International. <laughs> Satisfaction guaranteed. So how do we get satisfaction uh, to be guaranteed? You create a plan for membership satisfaction. You understand and incorporated membership satisfaction programs. Assisted club officers in organizing a club quality initiative to examine your community's needs, assess your current membership satisfaction and develop action plans. I'll take a little time on the Club Quality Initiative. It's, it's a program where you can ask your members to analyze and judge basically how your club is doing. Also, the same goes for your community. Your membership community can go out to the public, to various businesses and see what is needed in their community to make their communities operate smoothly. Improve club membership by having conducted a how are your rating survey with your active members. And again, that is a form that you can have them fill out. Uh, you can have them just simply do a round table and discuss it among your membership. Any way you can, you need to find out from your active members as well as new members, how are you doing? Uh, if you're not doing well, what's wrong? What can we do to improve? and go from there. Another guarantee is we promote a membership rewards program to your club members and ensure that members are recognized for their efforts in the club. That can come from various sources. Uh, you, you can get a simple sort of uh, certificate of appreciation, hand that out to your club members. You can have little small gifts Perhaps uh, I know of a president that handed out little small gifts to their members uh, that they had accumulated over the years and just recognize those members as doing a great job. Review the, in the membership recruitment, sorry, review the Just Ask guide located at lionsclub.org slash membership chair. You create a plan for club membership growth and present the plan to the club's board of directors for approval and support. I don't think any board sitting will deny you to put forth a wonderful increase in membership uh, and a plan to go forth. Prepare your club to recruit members by identifying why your club 
needs new members and what sort of members your club needs. The why is we need membership to continue our clubs growing. What sort of members your club needs? I think any member that is interested in serving the public is that what sort of member you need. Uh, we, we reach out to people that you either work with, uh, you may go to church with these people, you may see them in businesses, you might even see them in appointments where you've gone for, uh, say, uh, a dental appointment or a doctor's appointment. You start talking up membership, and uh, particularly if you're wearing a membership pin, uh, they'll see that you are a lion in the community, and they may ask you what uh, club you belong to, and uh, perhaps ask if they could visit you or you invite them. Understand the different membership types and programs offered by Lions International and which ones may apply to your club. Learn about district and multiple district dues for membership types. There are various types of members. The active member is the most common, but an affiliate member is a member that is a person that is very interested in serving the community, but doesn't have time to uh, sit through meetings week in, week out, or uh, may be able to only go to a meeting occasionally, but is always willing to work on a project. That is really an affiliate member. An associate member is a member that is a member that is active in another club, but is very often visiting your club, active in your own types of uh, projects, and you would retain the membership as a full active member in the original club, but they can be brought in as an associate member and they can oftentimes bring information and assistance to your club in doing the club activities. Learning about district and multiple district dues. It's very important that we let the member know ahead of time there are dues to be paid. They come at the club level, excuse me, club level, the district and multiple district, and they should be aware of how much they are uh, obligated to pay annually. And many times clubs will split it up so that it can be paid in installments in either quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. Uh, we want to work with members that may not be able to upfront the dues as best we can to help them along. So encourage the recruitment of new members and promote awards programs to the club members. We ensure that new members have a valid email address to help them receive useful communications of Lions Club International. That's why I said earlier, if a new member comes along or any member for that matter, has made any changes in their email address or addresses, let the club secretary know and then they can submit it to Lions Club International. Review the new member orientation and conduct, conduct sessions with new members to complement the new member experience emails they will receive. And I keep hammering on orientation. It's so important to not only have orientation at the outset when a new member comes in, but also during their career as a lion. There's always something new coming down the road and without the orientation in some manner, they're not gonna know. So keep it going. Encourage participation in the Lions mentoring program. Now, oftentimes the sponsor is a mentor. However, that's not always the case. Some sponsors are, may not be comfortable at being a mentor, and I would encourage in that case to talk to another Lions member who is more comfortable at being a mentor for your new Lion. And they should stay with them. Uh, it may be stay with them for uh, a few months, stay with them for a couple of years and mentor them along the way. Always keep them informed of what's happening that's new and exciting in the world of Lionism. Promote member membership during service events. Again, what I say is put a big banner up there, Lions Club of ABC City. Let your public know. Fun events that invite community members to participate are an excellent recruitment tool. 
as I said earlier, if you have a project that you're doing out in the public, invite your friends to come and help them, help the club doing the project. And it's amazing how many uh, new recruitments you will get out of just doing that. Did you know that a positive member experience is the foundation of retention? As I said, retention is very important because during that first 18 months, you have to keep that lion on track to be sure that they are welcome to the club, they're active, letting them work on projects that either helping out the club on an existing one or let them bring in one new project. Partner with your club service committee to ensure that service projects are meaningful to each of the members' humanitarian interests. So support and guidance. As a membership chairperson, there are many people who will be available to assist you throughout the year. As chairperson, work closely with your membership committee and your district global action team, specifically the district global membership coordinator, which will allow you to receive the support and guidance you need to, to meet your responsibilities. The global action team at the district level uh, is important to fall back on whatever a club as a whole or individual members need help in what they're doing as an active lion. Excuse me. Sorry. It is recommended that the membership chair begin by recruiting a membership committee to ensure that there's enough help to get the work done. As they say, you can't do it alone, so reach out to a couple of people, three people, as many as you can support with the club without robbing the other uh, officers' positions. The committee should be structured in the way that best fits your club's needs. However, Lions International re recommends including the following club members, last year's membership chairperson, next year's potential membership chairperson, and any club members interested in new member recruitment or member satisfaction. The Global Action Team. As a member of the Global Action Team, you have the support from your district global membership team, the GMT coordinator, and the district governor, who is the chairperson of the district global action team. If you have any membership related questions or concerns, you should reach out to them. They are there to support you. It's amazing how once you become familiar with the members of the district cabinet, the district governor, the vice district governors, your cabinet secretaries, cabinet treasurers, and you get them to be friends with your club and all new members, they are the people that you can reach out to to assist you if there's any questions or new ideas to encourage activities that the club may not have done in the past. Other Lions Clubs. So clubs also benefit from other clubs by sharing best practices. My own club, we love to visit the other clubs and find out what the other clubs have been doing so that we can bring home some of those great ideas. As the membership chairperson, you can easily increase membership satisfaction and reach membership growth goals by utilizing the support network that has been established. Lions International understands that growing your Lions Club is important because of the difference each new member can make in your community and understands the importance of keeping your current members satisfied. With little personalized effort, you can ensure that your club is in good fit for both newly recruited members and members many with many years of service. We are working to build a repository of best practices and successful stories, so let us know what works to make your new members feel more welcome and to celebrate the long-standing members of your club. And that is share that information within your district so that the district can compile uh, the best practices and share the successful stories that are throughout your large district of Lions. To ensure your Lions Club remains healthy and vital, 
you need to consider the experience and expectations of belonging to your club. If your club members feel that their time is well spent at club functions and activities and they have built friendships within the club, they will remain part of your club for a long time. That's why it's so important to keep members engaged by incorporating various member satisfaction strategies and resources. These tools focus on club cooperation, member morale, enhance meetings to help get members involved. Keep the member busy. There are several tools and resources online. Check out lionsclub.org slash membership chair for several different membership satisfaction resources to find the one that will work best for your club. Use the following new member checklist to ensure that you are welcoming your new members and are making them feel like family. We are their family. So have I made the new member feel welcome? Be sure that you do everything that you can to, as they walk in that door of your club meetings, to reach out to them, talk to them, and see what they've been doing lately in their community. Have I given them a responsibility that match what their goals are at the time of joining? Again, when you talk to that member as a new member, find out from them what interests them in their community. Have I valued input and inspected their ideas, respected their ideas? Absolutely need to do that. There's a, an old thing that we've kind of tried to erase is, well, we've done that before, we can't do it again. Erase that totally from your minds. Value their input. If they have a really great idea, let them run with it. And have I made them feel like a member of the family? We are family. The member satisfaction guide, along with the following resources referenced in the guide, are available at lionsclub.org slash membership chair, and they will help ensure your members are getting the experience they expect from your club. Among them are how your ratings survey, new member orientation, Lions mentoring program, and community needs assessment, all are very important. Use the member satisfaction report to track initiatives you have taken towards membership satisfaction. Submit this report to club officers each month so that they are aware of the club's efforts. Very easy to just keep track of what's been going on in the club so that you can report back to your your board of directors each month, what we've been doing to serve the community. Every club needs members in order to achieve its service goals. New members provide clubs with fresh ideas. And I've been saying that right along, fresh ideas, new products, and additional ways to make the difference in the community. As community membership chairperson, along with a membership committee, you will organize membership growth efforts and ensure that goals are being met. But just ask. New Members Recruiting Guide for Clubs. This helpful step-by-step -step guide available at allianceclub.org slash membership chair is designed to direct your club through the process of recruiting new members and effectively managing club growth. Although the concept is simple, just ask community members to join this guide will help you and your community prepare for an, act, an effective outreach plan by leading your club through a four-step process for recruiting new members. And those are preparing your club, creating your club's growth plan, implementing your growth, club's growth plan, and welcoming your new members. Creating a growth plan can be anywhere from saying that you want to add 10% to your club growth or one member per month, boy, wouldn't that be great. Two members per month would be even better. But don't look back on not having any growth. If you have even one or two members per year, that's growth. And to be sure you welcome all your new members. When members are invited to join Lions, share with them the international dues programs and membership categories so they are able to choose one that fits their situation. We went through this once before. Be sure that they understand that there are dues and you can hand them a, 
any kind of a membership opportunities flyer which will teach you and your club members about all the membership types and categories available. It's easily had through Lions International. Use a membership recruiting event or invitation report to track the number of participants at events, prospective members information and notes or follow up information about those members. Submit this report to club officers each month so they are aware of the club's recruiting efforts and successors. A club branch. Your club can grow its membership by starting a club branch. A club branch is an excellent opportunity to get more members of the community involved who may not be able to attend meetings because of timing, distance, or other reasons. Another reason to start a club branch may be to recruit a group of people who want to focus their service efforts on a particular interest. You can also start a club branch with members of your club who would like to meet at a different time, location, or would prefer a different meeting format, such as virtual meeting. This is an excellent way to get more people involved and engaged in Lions. Club branch members are members of your club and count toward your overall membership and service reports. To learn more about the creative way to grow membership in your club, visit lionsclub.org slash membership chair. Did you know that it's important to prepare your club before you begin recruiting efforts? An unprepared club may not seem welcoming to a new member and your efforts to get, to get new members to stay will not be very successful. First, be sure that your club is ready for new members before recruiting. Use the Just Ask guide to help in this process. So awards and recognition. Lions Club International offers various membership awards and recognition to recognize Lions and clubs for their accomplishments. As the membership chair and committee, it is important that you share the following opportunities with your club members to encourage them to recruit new members and keep current members satisfied. It could be a sponsor certificate, membership key awards, membership satisfaction awards, and Chevron awards. The membership key award is uh, a key that is offered to clubs or to a member that is brought in two or more people to Lions membership. Chevron awards, those are awards that begin on your 10th year and every five years you will receive an additional hash mark on the Chevron award. When you give out those Chevron awards, be sure that you recognize them in a fun and enjoyable uh, presentation. Mostly the president will give them out, but oftentimes it might be somebody from your zone or your cabinet that might be visiting your club to make it worthwhile. So membership chairperson planning calendar. You need to have a calendar to keep track of everything you've been doing. July, August, September, create a membership development plan to include both retention and recruitment tactics. Identify key calendar events in your community in which you can promote member recruitment. And that can be a month from the beginning of the year or it can be six months down the road. But keep track of it and inform your members that these events are coming up and that you need help with some of them. October, November, and December, connect with members who haven't been to a meeting or activity for a while. I said that earlier, if you lost track of a member over a period of time, pick up the phone and give them a call and find out, oh, are they doing okay? Conduct membership survey using how are your ratings or another survey tool. Report findings back to your club and create an action plan to improve member satisfaction. Always try to get constructive criticism if need be to move forward with various projects and to serve our community uh, better. Collaborate with your club secretary to ensure that membership rosters are up to date. I've said that numerous times. Whenever you have a change in your, your address, your phone number, or your email address, let the club secretary know so that they can submit it to Lions Club International. So January, February, and March, begin planning for Worldwide Induction Day to ensure your event in April is a success. Every April there is Worldwide Induction Day and it can be a major event in your community. 
consider starting a new club branch as a way to attract different segments of the community particip to participate. In April, May, and June, that's the last quarter of your club year, welcome new members to your club on Worldwide Induction Day. Celebrate success and record record tactics that worked well and didn't work to help the committee, the membership chair with planning for next year. Connect with your club secretary to ensure that members' rosters are up to date. So a review of our objectives. So why the membership committee? We've reviewed the position of club membership chair, membership recruitment, identified other club membership committee members, and looked at what other recruiting members are available. We're coming to the end of this webinar, and we, we do encourage questions. Uh, I want to thank everybody for participating. Uh, this has been a good committee to review. Membership is our goal. So with that, I will turn it back over to Pass District Governor Mike Retzloff. Doug, are you still on? Doug or Mike, there are a couple of questions. I think Gary is handling the question. Make sure I was talking at the right way. I can't hear any of the uh, any of the questions. Mike, I have a couple questions that I was wanting to put forward so we could get them answered, but I need somebody online so they can answer the questions. Okay, well, we're, we're here and available. The first question I have is from a statement that was made that says that the membership committee can organize recognition program for the new members. Is that a correct statement? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Do you want to come over here? Yeah. Hey, hang on a second. Our uh... you yeah. hang on just a second. Okay, Doug, it's all yours. The question again is, repeat. Apparently, you made a statement uh, in your presentation that said that the membership committee can organize recognition programs for new members. Uh, someone just wanted to make sure that that was a true statement that you made. Well, it is, and you can work with working with your club president and the vice presidents or the secretary in coming up with any kind of recognition that you can think of to uh, to identify what the member may have been doing uh, in order to be recognized. Uh, it can be a simple uh, uh, certificate of appreciation or even something more at the end of the year. Uh, oftentimes, some clubs uh, will ask to contribute to uh, either LCIF or Melvin Jones, that's certainly recognition, or for uh, lesser awards within their district. Okay, and the other one I have is not really, 
a question, but it's, well, there are some questions in it. Somebody wanted you to talk more in depth about what the dues go towards and the benefits and resources that each member has access to because they pay dues. I honestly think that is probably a topic for a different webinar than this, and that person actually has left the webinar. Uh, and then I have a statement from someone who wants to know if membership growth month is either October or April, and I don't remember which one it was. I believe it's October. And then I have a statement from Catherine that says the secret of membership is making sure that the new members feel needed, respected, and valued. Acknowledge all members regularly and make it a regular practice to vocalize those accomplishments. And I think I enforce that throughout my webinar. And that is all I have on the question pane. So if Mike would like to finish up, that will conclude this webinar. Thank you.